In Minecraft, for example, Steve can carry a lot, all while running, jumping, and climbing. If we take the heaviest element that exists both in the game and real life, gold, fill all 36 inventory spots with 64 stacks of the stuff, it has been calculated to weigh 44,467 metric tons that Steve can carry. Hey, Vsauce Michael here. This stuff is awesome, it's dense, it's heavy. Those colors were beautiful. Gold. Gold, of course, is famous for its unreactivity, which is why it's a great way to store your wealth. If you have a lot of gold laying around, the likelihood that it will combine with other elements and dissolve or rust or corrode is basically zero. Put some gold in Aquaresia. We're just going to use this ancient, priceless Egyptian relic. Let's go ahead and try this out. As the gold dissolves, what we wind up with in the evaporating dish is chlorofluoric acid. Auric coming from aurum, the Latin word for gold, which is why gold's symbol on the periodic table is AU. It's really sad to watch that gold dissolve away. I wish there was a way for us to just make other things in the gold. Now I know what you're thinking, Michael, that's alchemy. But alchemy is quite real. In today's particle accelerators, we can smash particles together, creating elements at the Accelerator Collider VSI. They can create gold by smashing particles together at a rate of 2 billion gold atoms every second. That's pretty cool, right? Well, as you know, atoms are incredibly small. They're so small that even though GSI can make 2 million new gold atoms every single second, were they to leave the machine on at that rate for 50 million years, it would only produce 1 gram of gold. Gold 